Well, five decades of modeling, two master's degrees, three successful children, including Elon Musk, but her accomplishments do not end there. May Musk recently made history when she was named the face of CoverGirl at the age of 69, and she's our guest in studio this morning. Thank you for being here. Thank you for inviting me. All right, you are 69 years of age. Yes. You're the face of CoverGirl. Yes. You, know, you started modeling when you were 15 years old. They told you your career would be over when you were 18. Right. Who's laughing now? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, I mean and you can't make that up, you know, that, uh, that you would get to achieve this at 69. What kind of a statement do you think that this makes to the industry, to fashion and the beauty industries? Well, I've only had positive comments and people are just thrilled that someone's representing, first of all, my age, around 70, and then young girls are, are, have more hope because they say, oh, we can carry on forever. I find it very inspirational. Yeah, there you go. You look beautiful. You make a Thank point of, of pointing out that you don't colour your hair. This yes. is your natural haircut. Yes, it is. Thank you, Mom and Dad. Yes. <laughs> and, and why is that important to you to make that statement? It seems to go against the trend of change yourself, try to look younger, you know, erase any signs of ageing. Um, well, you know, I, I'm very happy with my age, and my mom was happy with her age. Lovely Canadian mother mm -hmm. and father, and, uh, because I was born in Canada. Yes, a lot of people don't know you were, you were born in Regina. Regina, and then my parents moved to South Africa, hence the accent. And then I returned to Toronto, so I'm happy to be back here and for a great event, you know, the Princess Margaret Cancer Centre. Mm -hmm. It's their fundraiser, and I'm opening their show tonight. I, I want to talk about your time in Toronto for a little bit. You yes. were a single mom. Yes. You were raising three children. Yes. You had three children who went on to find great success. Yes. Can you give us some of the secrets, maybe some stories from that time, for anybody else who might be watching it in a tough spot? Well, I would say I worked very hard. Mm -hmm. I was a research officer at the University of Toronto, and... You know, I think my parents just gave me the basic principles of, you know, being kind and considerate, working hard, being honest, respecting people, being polite. And I think that all helps because, you know, the, my children were well behaved and good kids and worked hard as well. And, working very hard now, all three of them. It is true. <laughs> yes. Uh, it's, it's about role modeling. I hear you give credit to your, pre your parents a yes. lot. I imagine your kids would give credit to you. Yeah. What is it do you think that they would say that you did to encourage them to go on and probably live bigger dreams than maybe they even originally had for themselves? I don't think, uh, I think that they did themselves, just like I have done for myself. I don't think my parents said, you have to dream big. They never said something like that. They just said, you know, enjoy what you're doing and work hard towards it and make changes. And they were adventurous as well, so mm -hmm. try different things, new things. And um, my kids have certainly done that. They certainly <laughs> have. How do you keep them grounded? How do you remind them of their roots and the core values that you put into them? You know, when you're working very hard, you really have so much more to do that it does keep you grounded because you have to sort out a lot of problems within any profession. And uh, so that's what we do. <laughs> Two master's degrees. Uh, you're also a nutritionist, a dietitian. Yes, you yes. have certainly not slowed down yourself. No. All right, so you're 69, almost 70. What do you see for yourself in the future, May Musk? Well, I want to more, wear more beautiful clothes and show women of my age that uh, I'm, you know, I'm wearing Sally LaPointe and uh, uh, people are treating me nicely because uh, I'm in the fashion game at this age. Mm -hmm. I mean, Lisa Corbo is in, in Toronto is the host and she's just been so gracious and it just when you carry on working and carry on looking after yourself eating well <laughs> eating mm -hmm. well most of the time tell me uh, what you eat because if I, I eat, can eat what you eat and look like you at 69 I will eat gallons of it I eat <laughs> from the basic food groups I don't go into funny foods I don't go into fads I follow science and common sense and people are always surprised that I put milk in my coffee and then you know but I eat a lot of fruits and vegetables so you're an inspiration not only to your kids, but you have 10 grandchildren, I understand. Yes, I know. Can you tell me their reaction when you showed up in a Beyonce video? Oh, that, that didn't impress, because they're mainly boys. There's eight boys and two girls. So that, that didn't thrill them as much as being in the James Bond video game ah. as an agent. That, they, you they were in play. the James Bond video game? Yes, yes. You were the coolest grandmother <laughs> ever. <laughs> That they thought was cool. I love my mom dearly, but if I could pick a second mom, <laughs> May Musk, I think you'd be on the list. Thank you. Any other words of inspiration you have for women out there? Well, you know, if you're not in a good situation, just move on and get out of it, even if it means you're poverty-stricken. It's best to aim to do in a relationship or in work to be happy. 
do what you love. Yeah. Great advice. Yes. Good to have you here in your morning. Okay. And best of luck you. in your time here in Toronto. Thank and you. And welcome, welcome home. Thank you. <laughs> yes, it is.